starts with Shonda. Uh, we can pretty much say it starts and begin. It, it, it starts and ends with Shonda. The writers that she uh, also um, um, selected, the actors that she selected, and it was also just something that people really wanted to watch. I remember the audition really well because uh, nerves c come into play a lot. And also I just remembered it so well because it, I felt it was a good match, you know? And every time you've, at least in my experience, every time you feel like a role is a good match, most times it means you're not gonna get it. It just is like, you know, this that's like the kiss of death. So uh, I remember going in and just being very happy that I got to, you know, play this role for, you know, the length of the span of the audition. And uh, assuming that was gonna be it because uh, that's how it mostly is for us actors is, you know, you audition for many, many, many things that you don't get. I was just hanging out with Ellen actually yesterday and we were talking about this, about how for a lot of us it was our first uh, go at television as a series regular in any real sort of way. Uh, for Shonda, for Ellen, for me, um, I know a few people had done stuff before. She created this world that was, and these characters that were fascinating and I feel very complex. A lot of times, you know, characters like George end up being one-dimensional and two-dimensional at best. And the and the idea that this guy who could have been just painted as a, a, a bumbling, you know, a tool, you know, there was, uh, there was a lot more there. And I think, um, and I think it was that combination of her writing and, you know, this eclectic weird group of actors, you know, because we're all weird. I think what sets it apart mostly is uh, that the cast was, uh, it was a, the cast, it, it looked it looked like real life. Sure, there's the, you know, the love triangles and the, you know, the, the, the crazy amount of, of, of sex that was going on. I think you know, it is Shonda's voice and I think that's, you know, and and the way she cast and and you know the politics behind that I think is a, is a very uh, I think people want to see real life on television. They want to see, they they don't you know for so many decades uh, since the beginning it hasn't been uh, an accurate representation of 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 real life and not what you see when you go to a hospital. Shonda has talked about hating the diversity question. It just looks like the world, you know? And I think, you know, you are see, you see this uh, more and more when, when uh, you know, people want to see themselves. They, you know, there are all different colors and all different sizes and all different shapes. If you don't, if you grow up and you don't see yourself uh, represented, it, 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 it really does immeasurable harm. And I think that um, one of the things that Gray's uh, really has excelled at and has kind of changed not only television, but, you know, the, the ripple effect, uh, it, it, it changes much more than that, is, is, is the, this uh, showing the real world and including people who have been, you know, uh, ignored and stories that have been uh, not told before, and I think that um, that's, you know, remarkable for television, it's remarkable for society.